we have a Moto Tool Extravaganza to help you with your dirt bike work. A lot of these tools you might not be familiar with, and it'd be good for you to check out to help you out with your dirt bike work. Okay, we use a lot of different tools, and I have way more tools than this. Um, and most everyone's gonna have a basic tool kit. But we're gonna talk about some of these important tools. We grabbed, Spencer and I grabbed out the tools that we use kind of the most, or are some of the most unique for working on dirt bikes. We're gonna start at this side of the table and just kind of go across in no special order. So first thing we have, graduated beaker, they call it. And you can get them on Amazon. It goes up to a thousand milliliters right here. And then mo most of the time we'll measure and because we'll go 1100 sometimes. So we know, you know, it's that much more right there. Okay, so, and then AK Technologies, these are sold through Takamoto in the US, makes these custom cool funnels that thread into each bike. So if you're that cool and wanna have special funnels, those are really cool. Okay, nut drivers. These are snap-on nut drivers. You can get other brands. We have other brands in my van and on the other walls. Uh, six millimeter, eight millimeter, you have way more control. If you say you're putting a front fender on, uh, this helps a lot, right Spence? So you have way more control with nut drivers and you tend not to get stuff cross-threaded. So it's really helpful, like putting a skid plate on, those types of things you wanna use a nut driver. Working on a carburetor, getting a main jet out, six millimeter like that. We keep certain things always set up. Uh, we have this, this drive here, 3 8 drive, and we call this KTM tool. It's a Torx 45. And since we've switched to KTMs, we have this thing set up and it's on the wall all the time for us since we have KTM Husky bikes. Okay, Motion Pro came out with a cool new tool that is actually a little pick. You wouldn't think this is necessary, but when you have hoses that are stuck on, you get the clamps off and you got, guys will get a screwdriver in there and try to pry them loose. You end up scratching or denting your radiator. This you can get in there and break it loose. So like go around it like this. And then you got a little puller here. You can pull a little bit and this will help you getting those off. That's like five things already. Yep. Can you believe that? Crazy. All right. The next one, we call these Y wrenches. And these are always set up. It's called Big Y. It has, big I, what's, it's like six, seven, and eight. Mm -hmm. And then four, five, six Allen wrenches are on small Y. These stay set up for us all the time. They never come off. And it's just really nice to be able to go grab Allen wrenches. I say, grab me the small Y, big Y. Even my wife knows which one to go grab but if I say that. This socket, this 32 socket stays on here all the time because most of the bike's rear wheel we take off are this. And so when I need to use this ratchet for something else, pop it off. But this always stays on here when it's in my box, this 32, we use it the most. It fits all the uh, new regular size bikes. Spoke torque wrench, fast company. This, this wrench is um, almost 20 years old, I think. Um, you can watch it, you can hear it click when I get it into its groove right here like that. I don't remember exactly what it's set up. Um, these work really well. We have spork torquing, uh, torquing videos on how to do that. But having these with these different inserts is amazing. Uh, one of these is a good investment and uh, really cool. You can check those out on our link at uh, Rocky Mountain. You can check those out. Okay, wrenches. It's really important to have um, not just 12 point wrenches, but six point wrenches like this. They grab much firmer. And then these are actually like a crow's foot. These work good for doing sprocket nuts on the back side where you have to work it in in between the spokes. You can get this sucker to fit in there. All right, thanks for watching the video this far. Don't forget if you're gonna shop at RockyMountainATVMC.com to click on the link in our video description below. Flush cut pliers. We have a couple here. This one we got on Amazon here. And then there's a snap on set and they're flush here because we'll cut zip ties when you cut a zip tie, it's nice to have these pliers that cut flush so you don't cut yourself when you're working on your stuff later. Pipe spring pullers, got basic old school one. Look at this, kind of bent a little bit. I don't think it's, I think it's got a, it's got a, it's got a yeah. couple of bends to it already here. It's not broke off yet. And then this is the Mac Daddy of spring pullers is the Motion Pro uh, one. And it actually will come apart and actually bends like this. You can kind of bend it in, it's got a cable in here, and then you can lock it out into solid, like that. So pipe spring pullers, we use that quite a bit on different things. And air chuck, sounds simple, but we have air all over our shop. Uh, rubber tipped, we use air. Every time we're in the shop doing stuff, we're using compressed air. T-handles, this is at one, one of our workstations Spencer grabbed off the wall. We did some color coding over the years, most of it's wore off, but it was for some of our lesser help. It was kind of nice to have. Magnet, 
It's nice to have one of these at easy access. So you grab, you drop something, you can go grab it quickly. Hand impact. We don't use this a lot, but uh, you know, once a month or so at max anymore. But it's nice to have one. And if you don't know how to use one, uh, uh, we we can we'll probably have some f videos in the future. But you you talk to your uncle from the 70s and 80s. The case bolts were all hand with with out with uh, Allen bolts or with uh, Phillips. So having one of those is important. Also, a really cool, unique tool is this PBR. It has nothing to do with bull riding, but Motion Pro made a cool tool that does everything to do with chains. It breaks the chain, it presses the plate on, and then you can also rivet a chain with it if you want. And you have all the tools you need right here, all the bits you need to do one completely, really well. Sprocket stuff makes a really cool uh, front sprocket holder. I've shown this before. Really cool piece. Okay. Hammer time. A good quality strong hammer, just like this, from when you're doing stuff that's not going to hit anything on the bike or metal, this is a great thing to have. This is what I would be using on this impact, for instance. It's like this. And then a dead blow hammer is what you're using a lot. If an axle's stuck, anything like that, you're using a dead blow hammer. Can you hear the sand in there? Let me put it next to my mic. Okay, so get that it just stops. You want you're not going to damage anything on your bike. Don't ever hit this against your axle, anything like that on your bike. Okay. A magnet. This is a motion. Pro you can get any of these, but motion has these nice. This is nice to store your parts when you're working. And you can see all of our main sockets we use eight, 10, 12, all are six point sockets. Like to have those thread chasers, uh, or in this case, we actually have taps. This eight millimeter and six millimeter taps are always ready. We have them always ready to go. Time cert, this is a great tool for dirt bikes to where if you're going to fix threads, you want to have these on hand or at least have a buddy that has them on hand. One of our last things, we have different, we call them Pokemons because they poke you. So the, the main ones we use are, uh, are some of these uh, like style like this and this little hook, uh, a prior. So we have little uh, tools. This is a fancy kit a buddy of mine got me and you have different ones. If you can get any style, but having these laying around the shop that you can dig at stuff, really good. Okay, so that's a look at some of the big key tools we use. Let's go on over to my box here and we're gonna show you kind of, we have a full video that if you uh, email us, we'll show you a full video of all the shop. But we have a main work area and we have a, like three different workstations in the shop, but my main work area is right here. And we'll have screwdrivers in the top drawer, wrenches, sockets, like so. And we have way more sockets and breaker bars and ratchets than we need. All pliers, cutters, anything like that is all there. And then we start getting down into more, you know, bigger stuff, uh, hammers and other clamps and stuff. But the main drawers we use are just right here and then stuff off to the side. Um, other things to consider, torque wrench. You want to have a good torque wrench um, and look at things like that. So hopefully this gives you a rough idea of some specialty tools that you can use on your dirt bike and to have in your shop as you're building up. Not stuff most guys are going to go buy overnight, but hopefully it helps you out. On X Off-Road, know where to go with the number one GPS app. Access 500,000 miles of trails and roads, open dates and public lands. The elite version even shows landowners and property boundaries. Download the On X Off-Road app. To save 20%, use the discount code DBTV1.